How's it going, guys? Hey, we got a new toy to play with. We were uh, checking out the latest episode of The Ultimate Fighter, and you guys probably saw this amazing guillotine. So, man, we were inspired. We hit the mats hard and been playing around with it. So, by no means are we claiming to be an expert on the position, but it's definitely a fun variation that you guys can try. So, uh, here's our two cents, and you guys have fun. So, um, you, everybody knows the traditional guillotine, the grip goes like this. So, this new variation, the, the uh, arm is flexed, so the elbow comes under the chin, almost like a, a V-shape here, and here's, here's the first hand pressure. And this second hand is basically not directly connected, but a little bit underneath, and the idea is you're just giving a little push here, so what happens is it causes the elbow to really close off. So in essence, you get more of a blood-style choke as opposed to a windpipe choke. And you can do it you know, with uh, some weight on you, get, can get it from some different angles that maybe with the other squeeze, at not so high percentage. So real quick, here we go this way, my hands flexing like this around the neck, okay? Like this, and just like normal, we're keeping the, the body weight and everything over the top of the head. The elbow at this point should be directly under the chin, not shifted out to the side. A lot of, a lot of times we get here with it. So the elbow is directly under the chin, the palms this way, and just we're giving a lot of space here to see the hand position, but I just come in here and just start very gently pressing in. Oh, just so little effort, as opposed to using all the big muscle groups in your back and everything. So that's a pretty cool way to squeeze it, and you can play around with it from the closed guard. Another interesting entry we were working with was from the half guard when you're on top. Normally we go to a lot of trouble to try to pass the legs and get superior position from here. This variation of the squeeze gives you an option to finish it right from the top position. So basically, he's on the bottom half guard. It's very common for him to try to you know, set fight for the underhook and what have you. So in this position, what I'm going to do is start to hug the neck, just like so. I'm going to really dive my head forward over his body so my hips are going to be right over the top of his shoulder. And now this frees my elbow up to really get deep. And now I just basically make that same position and then just start to press right here. Bingo. Okay? He can hold my leg in half guard. He can try to buck me off. He can roll me over. Once you get that, that squeeze locked up, it's tremendous pressure on top of the head. Uh, one more time. So this position, just come and collect the chin here to get control of the head. I'm going to really drive my weight forward, like I said. My hips are kind of on top of his shoulder. My head's posting, and that really frees up this arm that was grabbing his head to adjust. So I get that elbow in. My shoulder goes down a little bit. Now I'm going to make that same configuration we talked about, and just start to press. Yeah, it's very nasty. And uh, this is just a little bit closer angle for you guys to take a look at. So like I said, we're in half guard. Keeping my position on top. He's fought. He's trying to get an underhook and get his head close to me, try to get underneath my hips. So I'm going to hug the neck. I start off with just a chin control like so. And now what I'm going to start doing is driving my body weight over so that my hips end up relatively close to his shoulders here. Once here my head can post on the ground and like I said look how light this leg becomes. I'm sorry this arm becomes. Now it's free to adjust. So I start to roll my hip down and as I do my elbow shoots deep underneath the chin. Now at this point I just want to start making that same hand configuration that we talked about before. Okay, maybe we can see it from a different angle here. So now my hand is here on the top of the head. Sorry, man, I'm trying not to squeeze you. Then I come in, and I think your grip can actually vary. It doesn't have to be exactly like this, but the main thing is the flex of this top hand. And then we just put our body weight down right here. You can lock him in this position with your legs, or he can even buck you over all the way over. Can you roll? He gets stuck here too, look. He still gets tapped, okay? So, sorry, Matt's a <laughs> taking a, a beating today with this position. So anyways, uh, we're having fun with it. Hopefully you guys can uh, you know, try it out. Please uh, share your thoughts on it and let us know if you can make some improvements. It's always good to see a new variation to an old technique. All of a sudden it becomes more fun.